Roxy Whitney here, your favorite Rocket City Realtor, and today I'm here with my favorite home inspector. Kelsey Smith, Alabama Home Inspections, and I hope to be your favorite home inspector. But lots of people get upset about the crack that they see right there in their brand new driveway. Um, if that crack isn't more than three eighths of an inch wide, which is, you know, half your, half your pinky, if it's not more than three eighths inch wide, chances are that crack is nothing more than cosmetic. A driveway is typically about three inches deep, three to four inches. And depending on when they pour it, if they poured it this week, knowing that we're going to have great weather all through next week, they're gonna pour concrete relatively straight. They're gonna keep most of the lime out of the concrete. But if I know that the weather might go bad at the end of the week, but I gotta get this foundation and this driveway in, I'm gonna pour it in and I'm gonna add lime, which causes it to dry faster. And when it dries faster, unfortunately, we may have a crack. Now that's a singular crack. So that tells me that it was probably just really hot when they poured this down. Your house is not actually made of bricks. Unless your house was built before 1940, chances are your house is not made of bricks. And if it is, then congratulations, because you are one of those people that can afford that house that I can't. But otherwise, these houses, this house, though it looks like brick, this house is actually wood, and it has one stack of bricks on the outside of the house. Goodness about it is brick repels water, but it actually also absorbs it. So if your sprinklers are hitting the side of your house, you need to go have a talk with your sprinkler company because your, your bricks are absorbing water and then when it heats up, they, do, they sweat just like we do. You get condensation. So this brick heats up, the condensation isn't gonna form on the outside of the brick, it forms on the inside and it dribbles down to this little thing right here. And this is called a weep hole. And that is, if you see water coming out of that, that's actually a good thing. Now it shouldn't be coming out like a faucet, but that is your house sweating. The water is, is burning out of your bricks. It's rolling down the inside and coming out there instead of causing damage to your wall. The other thing bricks do for us is they let us know when our house is settling. So you can look at this brick wall and it is all intact, but it's not odd for us to see, especially on an older home, probably 20 or 30 year old home, where we start to see a crack in this mortar above, above doors and windows, or we'll see it on corners like this, where we'll see a crack come down here. Um, and that's telling us that your house is settling. Now, most of the time, that's a good thing. It's telling you that your house is settling evenly. You say, well, Kelsey, but it's only cracking here. Doesn't that mean that this part of my house is settling? Well, yes, it does. But it also means that it started to crack here when it started to settle in this corner, but chances are that other side also settled because this crack is just a hairline crack. If that crack gets wide, now we need to start talking about going to see a foundation specialist because you may have something wrong. It's, it is only here to hold the brick up. The brick's not actually holding the door. The lintel is holding the brick up because the brick is really just sitting in stacks just like Legos. And we've got to give it some form to hold on to the house. But these lintels, this provides the strength over your door to keep things from, ha from falling in. If you start to see rust, and I don't mean like the rust that you see here, you start to see where the paint is coming off and you have rust occurring, that's telling you that your lintel is eventually, not maybe now, but eventually going to start to bend. Um, there's plenty of companies out there that do what's called a lintel lift. And they come in and they'll lift that back up, put a new one in, and you're good as new and it's relatively quick and painless. If you wait until it starts to bow, then uh, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Any window that is, that is in close proximity to a walking distance, and I won't bore you into the 42 inches and this, that, and the other thing, but if it is somewhere where somebody can hit it by walking into it, then what we want to check for is right down here, is there a tempered glass stamp on it and what that means is if it does manage to break it breaks in rounded edges so you're not going to stab people what kind of door does it have is it exterior rated does it have a 20 minute um, firewall protection and in this case this is a metal door with glass insert and so most of the time we're we're rarely going to see things on a new home that we're going to comment on as far as their windows go in this case this is a vinyl window but it's a single hung window meaning that only one side of the window opens 
otherwise it'd be a double hung or a side slider. But we're missing a key ingredient here, and that is the screen. So most people in today's day with their HVAC systems, they're not gonna open their window and get fresh air recirculation, unless you're me. I like a little bit of fresh air, run it through my house, but you don't wanna do that until you have a screen on here so that you can keep all the pests and everything else out of your house. The other thing we're looking at when we're looking at a new house or realistically any house, but we're gonna look at the sealant around a window. And in this case, you can see this is new clear silicone sealant. This sealant has been on for a very short period of time, but as it gets about three to five years old, it's gonna to start to get little flecks in it. Those, that little fleck is where the UV rays and the, and the heat have started to wear it down and it's now collecting dust. So in this case, you can see that I'm wiping away a little bit of dust, but later on, you won't be able to wipe it away. It's gonna feel like tar. And that is telling you that your caulking is going bad. It happens about the three to five year mark. You should pay somebody to come out, pull that caulking out, put new caulking in. Otherwise, you're at risk to get water in here back beyond the vinyl and beyond the brick that now is starting to rot away the wood on the inside of your house. Nice, bye. See ya. <laughs>